Howdy y'all! Hello everyone! It is Wednesday! November 19th in the year of our Lord 2014! How are all y'all doing out there? I'm doing awesome as always. Wicked awesome! It's yeah Western Wednesday! It's Happy Hump Day! Hump Day! Damn right! Two more days till B and A Friday. Well, hot diggity dog damn. How about today's unofficial sponsor of our show? My good friend. He is a phenomenal photographer. He fixes engines for a living. This guy is a great leader of men, women, and it's. And he's a DJ, my man of lost photography, Brian Lawson. Unique techniques. Gotta check them out. Unique check techniques, just like it's spelled on the old Facebook. Follow his page. This man is an amazing man, a very dear friend of mine. Damn good photographer, damn good DJ, ultra cool, badass, totally wicked awesome. Brian Lawson, brother, I am honored to support you like a double D bra. Underwire, that support, baby. Oh, yeah, check it out. Lost Photography, Brian Lawson, unique techniques. He does a lot of great photo shoots at a very, very decent price. I promise you that. All right, well, today's beer of the day, boys, girls, and it's it's one that has yet to be featured on Beer and Song of the Day. Now, we featured a lot of left-hand brewing beer out of Longmont, Colorado, the home of my buddy Wally Fortier, Wally's aluminum shaping process, not Wally's ass sculpting process, though. You probably wouldn't mind that if you were single, and she was hot, wicked hot. But anyway, this stuff right here, brewed on the banks of the mighty St. Brain, toasty malt flavors dominate up front, and noble hops lead to a spicy and superbly clean lager finish. 6.6% alcohol by volume, definitely a, little, a bit above average in the old strength department. You see what type of beer glasses you're supposed to use? Either a mug or one of these. This type of beer consumption apparatus. Drinking it! Hey, perfect for Yeehaw Western Wednesday, just saying. Alright, so yeah, this stuff, left hand, Oktoberfest. Yeah, baby, Mars and Lager, good stuff, German style, enjoy at 40 to 50 degrees Fahrenheit. So here we go, prop building at brass, prop technique. About five to ten Celsius for my metric friends. And the 45 degree angle right into the big assumption at brass, right over the keyboard, because I'm that damn good. Have a spill drop yet, never have, never will. Cheers and beers to all of you, process say Germany, Pies, they say in Japan. Eha. That's a good beer right there. Mm, very good. I like it. To me, that's a B. A good beer indeed. Yeehaw. All right. Well, before I get to the birthdays, I have a very, very special uh, shout out to my good friend Gail Riggs, the wicked awesome mom of my dear friend Justin Dimmitt. Who you hear that name almost every day on Baron Song of the Day, because without him we wouldn't have the Baron Song of the Day Facebook page. He has his own show, Prosper. Live long and prosper, that's right. Well, Justin's mom, Gail, sent me this here hat. A Vietnamese hat, that's right. Hot diggity dog damn, I always wanted one of these. Vietnamese hat. And Gail, you made it happen. Much love to you, wonderful lady. God bless you. I give you the love doctor salute. Oh hell yeah! Thank you so much, Gail. I truly appreciate this. This is absolutely wicked awesome. May Chant Janine, thanks for wicked awesome. You know what I'm saying, eh? That's what I'm talking about. Oh, Canada indeed. Let's give some love to our neighbors up north. Hell yeah. So there you go. Gail, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Absolutely wicked awesome stuff. All right. Now, we got some birthdays, folks. Yeehaw! Right off the bat. Now, I got a very dear friend of mine, a great leader of men, women, and it's a wonderful mentor, friend, fellow brother. This guy's amazing. Matt Mad Dog Becker, you hear that name a lot. And his wonderful, gorgeous, amazing better half, Chris, Christina. Well, Matt Mad Dog Becker and Chris's Be Chris Becker's son, Matt Becker. That's right, little Matt Becker. Ain't so little no more. Well, hot diggity dog damn little Matt. You're 21 today. Yeah. Milestone birthday to you. Guess what you get to do? You can watch Beer and Song of the Day and actually drink an adult beverage legally with yours truly, the love doctor, Reverend Dr. B. Maybe father and son will have a 
beer together, and maybe they'll say, go Bears, crush the Packers. I like the Lions. I'm a Patriots fan, so there you go. Patriots number one, Lions number two to me. But hey, so there you go. Stop Bears. Stop Bears. And Matt, happy milestone birthday to you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Party hot and enjoy celebrating like it's 1969 minus the acid. Cheers and beers to you. And remember, be smart and be safe. And of course, uh, his sister, Ashley Becker. If you're watching the show, how you doing? Hope you're doing well. The Becker family, absolutely amazing. I give the love doctor salute to the Becker family. I wish they were more like them in the world. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, so let's get to our other birthdays for today. Like my good friend, Justin Zent. Justin Zent. Badass crew. Dog that I know from exotic Japan, Justin. How you doing, man? Hope you're doing well. Always great hearing from you. Been a little bit since I've heard from you. But I know you love beer and song of the day, and I know you'll be watching. And I hope you enjoy it. And brother, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And next on the list, my good friend Terry Sykes. Terry Sykes. A fellow mafioso on the old mafia wars. That's right. You know what we do, right? Oh, yeah. Get on there. Ice some fools. After work, get on there. Ice some fools. Get rid, get rid of some pent-up frustration. They say, you know what? Let's team up. Help each other out. Throw stuff to each other so we can get stronger and crush the opposition. And that's what we do. Terry, happy birthday to you. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. All right. Next on the list, I've known this young man for over 30 years. He's the final saying graduate of Monsters Vineyard Breeze High School class in 1993. My good friend, Matt Flanders. The pride of Vineyard Haven, Massachusetts. A great man indeed. And he was in our Boy Scout troop, Troop 91, Monsters Vineyard Island. Oh, yeah. Matt Flanders. Brother, how you doing? Happy birthday to you. Hey, I didn't even need the Facebook for your birthday. I've had it memorized the whole time I've known you. And Matt, hope you have a wicked awesome day. Happy anniversary of coming out of the womb. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. And the final birthday of the day goes to a legendary badass hard-working man I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. Pretty much the same damn state. My man Chad Seller. Chad Seller, dude, how you doing? Happy birthday to you. And hope you're doing well. Hope your wonderful better half Perler spoils the hell out of you. I know her too. She works at a hospital and she's an amazing lady. Chad Perler, you two are absolutely phenomenal. Happy birthday to you, Chad. Hope you get spoiled with lots of gifts and hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Cheers and beers. So there you have it for the birthdays on beer and song of the day. Big and A. It is anniversary time. We have an amazing wedding anniversary, and they, I, I love this. It all started at 5.15 this morning. She woke up, and he had breakfast served in bed to her, and it was beautiful. Flowers, oh, beautiful looking breakfast. I saw the Facebook post. Wow. Remy and his better half, Leanne Lacasio, a lovely couple that I know down here in yeah Texas, is otherwise known as West Louisiana. Uh, Remy, of course, you know him. He's a uh, real estate legend, uh, selling houses at a great price. He'll be helping you out the way you need it. He's there for you. He supports like a double D bra underwire. That support. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Squeeze me. And Leanne, of course, I work with her, and she's just absolutely phenomenal. A real sweetheart. Remy. And Leanne Lacasio, three year anniversary to the two of you. Former real and real babe and real hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day. Absolutely phenomenal. And uh, we will feature you two again down the road. In fact, I'd love to have you two as guest co hosts on Beer and Song of the Day. How awesome would that be? Wicked awesome, of course. Well, Remy, Leanne, happy anniversary. Three years down at least. 79 to go. Okay? Why not go 82 years? Because you can. I don't know. So cheers the beers. And uh, hope you enjoy the show. But damn you, Remy. He made the love doctor right here look pretty bad. Because I, I tried to do breakfast in bed for my wife once. And I screwed up those waffles something awful. 
I leave the cooking to her. She's the expert. Me, I'm the expert eater. So, hey, it works, okay? It works. Anyway, so, we had a trivia question. I can't wait at the last minute because <laughs> I had to be fast. All right, so here we go. How many daughters does NHRA drag racer John Force have that have been have have been or are currently professional drag racers? Oh, our dear friend Lisa Shrewsbury, you know that name well. She said three. Un, deux, trois. That's right, three. And she's right, Lisa. You nailed it. Wicked awesome job. Big love, Dr. Salute to you. Oh, hell yeah. That's right. And, uh, of course, Lisa, you know her because she's a big-time trivia buff. She's a former real baby of the day on Beard and Song of the Day. Hell yeah. And, Lisa, soon enough, I think you're going to be able to win Fan of the Week, too. You know what to do. Share that showing page every day and make it happen. Recruit fans. Do it up. And, uh, Lisa, my dear, cheers and beers to you. Well done, my friend. Well done. All right. So there's our shout outs for today. Let's get to our hunk of the day. And our first song of the day, it's Yeehaw Western Wednesday. And we'll dial it back old school this week. We're taking this one back to 1950 with a man by the name of Hard Rock Gunter. Hard Rock Gunter, Birmingham Bounce, 1950. Here y'all go as we bring out today's hunk of the day on Beer and Song of the Day, Big and A, John Forrest. Yeah, you know that guy. John Forrest, big badass, tough guy, drag racer. 16 time NHRA champion. One of the greatest drag racers in history. Yeehaw! I know normally I wear a cowboy hat, but hey, there is one of his daughters. You got Ashley. Brittany, I believe. And uh, I forgot the g third girl's name. I know it starts with a C. Help me out, fans. You name the three daughters and post it on the Baron Song of the Day page, you're going to get a Love Dr. Salute on tomorrow's show, okay? That lets me know you're watching. You can Google it for all I care. Do it. When I throw out random trivia questions on my show, Google is legal. What are the three? What are the names of the three daughters of John Force? Look them up. Post it on Beer and Song of the Day. You will get a love that you salute. Ah, listen to this song. John Force is 65 years old and still racing. Doing very well. He only won the championship in 2013 at the age of 64. Hey, Anna. That's the John Force I remember. Winston. Yep. Pastor GTS. I read they just that him and Castro ended their partnership after the 2014 season. I mean, that's like Mr. Goodrich and Dale Earnhardt ending, you know? Or DuPont and Jeff Gordon. I mean, there's some things that just, what the hell, you know? A young John Force. Look at that. Look at that collar. Yeah, yeah. John and Ashley Force. I know, folks. He got some beautiful daughters. Yeah, you got to be a big, bad, tough guy to have beautiful daughters like that. You know, I'm just saying. Thank God my love goddess is a tough girl. Because our daughter's beautiful and uh, we care very much about her. She's our little princess. So there y'all go, John Force, hunk of the day, a Baron song of the day, T and A. Uh, we got some celebrity birthdays to get to real quick. Let's burn right through them. Hey, oh yeah, Jodie Foster. She's been acting forever. I remember her in Taxi Driver, 1976, at the age of 13. Uh, she is 52 years old today. How about Calvin Klein, the famous designer Calvin Klein is 72 years old today. Rapper Tyga, Tyga. He's 25 years old today, the perfect milestone age. 
Meg Ryan. <whistles> Meg Ryan, 53 years old today, still looks absolutely fantastic. My brother has worked on her plumbing be before. On her, not that kind of plumbing, people, come on. Uh, worked on, changed out her faucets, and he said that she is very down to earth and an absolute sweetheart. Awesome stuff. How about uh, Philadelphia Phillies first baseman, beast, badass, Ryan Howard, 35 years old today. CNN legendary talk show host, Larry King, 81 years old today. Late great prime minister, Indira Gandhi of India, born on this day 1917, assassinated on Halloween 1984, just short of 67 years old. Yeehaw country singer Billy Carrington, 41 years old today, 20th President of the United States of America, James A. Garfield, James Abram Garfield, born this day in 1831, assassinated in 1881 at the age of 49. In fact, he lay on his deathbed for two months before he died. Ugh. Uh, remember gymnast Carrie Strug, the one that had the ankle injury that still stuck that perfect landing on the vault back in 1996 to get the U.S. women's team the gold medal carrie strug is 37 years old today oh uh mr jane fonda oh, that bitch hanoi jane uh ted turner ted turner is 76 years old today uh former wide receiver of the uh, minnesota vikings and along with three other teams ahmad rashad phenomenal uh reporter 65 years old today milestone birthday to him the uh i hope i know i'm going to butcher the pronunciation of this my Macaui, M-C-C-A-U-G-H-E-Y. How the hell do you pronounce that? I know it's Irish. Macaui uh, Septuplets, seven of them. 17 years old today. Tommy Dorsey, jazz legend Tommy Dorsey. Born in the state, 1905. Passed away much too young at the age of 50. 50, 51 in 1956. Dick Cavett, talk show host. Earlier pioneer of talk shows. Uh, Dick Cavett, 78 years old today. Um, Ann Curry. Uh, journalist, she is 58 and looking pretty great. Gail Devers, legendary uh, U.S. Olympic track and field legend. Gail Devers, 48 years old today. Uh, Miss Elizabeth, remember that? The macho man's woman. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, Miss Elizabeth. Ugh. Born this day, 1960. Passed away at the age of 42 in 2003, I believe. I want to say it was drug overdose. It might have been a, uh, I know it was overdose. So, oh, just terrible. Uh, D'Angelo Hall, an NFL football player. He's 31 years old today. Jeremy McGrath, one of the true kings of BMX motocross. Um, Jeremy McGrath is 43 years old today. Late great catcher, legend, badass, Brooklyn Dodger, Roy Campanella. Born this day, 1921. Passed away in 1993 at the age of 71. Uh, actress Jean Tierney, born on this day in 1920, passed away in 1991. And finally, a big one. Oh, Wilbur, can you take me to the park? That's right. I am Mr. Red. Of course, Alan Young. Wilbur. Alan Young, also in one of my all-time favorite movies from 1960, The Time Machine, George Pal classic. Um... Alan Young, get this folks, 95 years old today and still going strong. I love it. A huge love Dr. Salute to him. Oh, hell yeah. Way to go, Alan Young. And I will drink to that. Mm. All right. So there's your birthdays for today on Beer and Song of the Day. Big and A. Let's get to a hot pie of the show, baby. It is time to bring out today's baby of the day on Beer and Song of the Day as we bring out Fallen Angel. Hard Rock Gunner, 1955. There y'all go as we bring out the daughter of John Force. <whistles> Ashley Force. Oh, she's a fallen angel, all right, y'all. Actually, she is married. Ashley Force Wood, I believe. I may be wrong on that. Or Hood or something like that. I don't think it's Force Hood. That'd be kind of... I don't remember. It is Ashley Force Hood. 
Uh, no, it's not actually force wood. <laughs> force wood. Get it? Uh, she is just lovely. Lovely smile. <laughs> Squeeze me. Instrumental break, y'all. Not often you hear saxophone in country music. With a piano. Obviously some drums. Driving force. Now you're a fallen angel. Ashley Force. That's awesome. all you are. You could have been somebody's heavenly star, but you're a fallen angel. You had your way. Folks, she's more than just a pretty face. But she sure is pretty. Oh, clavage. French for cleavage. Mmm. Lovely. Ashley is actually retired from uh, drag racing. She only raced from 2007 to 2011. Why is she going to be a mommy? She's got a kid. Ooh, she's lovely. What a lovely song. What a lovely lady. Hey, on this day 1989, the day that Tiger was born, the U.S. beat Trinidad 1-0 qualifying for the 1990 World Cup Soccer Finals. It was the U.S.'s first qualification to the World Cup since 1950, folks. Wow. On this day 1985, 30 years ago today, New York Mets pitcher Dwight Gooden, the youngest to be named. Nationally, Rookie of the Year. And actually, yeah, he had just turned 20. Born November 16, 1965. How about that? Honestly, in 1983, Edmonton Oilers beat the New Jersey Devils 13-4. Wayne Gretzky calls the Devils a Mickey Mouse organization. Ha! That's funny. I don't care what anyone says. That's funny right there. Honest Day... In 1980, CBS Television bans Calvin Klein's jeans ad featuring Brooke Shields. Well, you know something? You want to know why? Brooke Shields was 15 years old, folks. Yeah. Can you imagine somebody trying to air an advertisement like that or a 15-year-old modeling like that? Ooh, man. Woo, hoo, hoo. They'd be on the Watchdog website nowadays for being a pedophile. And rightfully so. On this day in 1965, Kellogg's Pop-Tarts pastries are created. Yeah, I love those. On this day in 1959, Rocky and Friends debuts on ABC TV. On this day, also in 1959, Ford cancels Edsel. The Edsel is a no-go. On this day in 1953, the U.S. Supreme Court rules 7-2. That baseball is a sport, not a business. Well, I think those two justices that said it's a business got it right. Because they call sports a business nowadays. Ah, here we go. There it is. The trifecta of absolute gorgeous uh, forced daughters. Yeah, baby. Yeah. I'll drink to that. And that's it right there. Those are our... That's our baby today on Beer and Song of the Day, Big and A. Um, there were some celebrity birthdays missing. Now, my good friend Kevin Sherman had texted me, and I'm going to double-check these, but I'm going to call him out on the show right now. He wanted to let he wanted me to let y'all know that it was Dwayne Allman's birthday. I thought Dwayne Allman was born. Dwayne Allman, Joe Walsh. He may have meant for Thursday. Patrick Kane of the Blackhawks. Those would have shown up on uh, 
Um, those would have shown up on famousbirthdays.com. I always double check to make sure I got stuff right, you know. Even though I have memorized so many birthdays, I still double check because nobody's perfect. If I was perfect, I'd be playing third base for the Red Sox because that'd be perfect to me. Well, I got a perfect idea. Let's get rid of the rest of this here beer. Mm. Mm. Yup. I think this brain cells on average drink it, man. Y'all know what time it is, right? Time right, Dr. B. Folks, time makes a feed us to head out. So everybody take care. Have a wicked awesome night and day. Please be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Don't drink and drive my spirit drink. Or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yanks fan. And what's dumber than that is rooting for puke and festive goober snitzels like Eli. Eh, I mistake Tom Brady. Huh, no you're not, Schlepper. Manning. Or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people who watch on beds, or fake friends, or anybody that supports the fans or is a member of the Westboro Baptist Church. Things like that are just plain stupid and definitely deserve a big fat FY. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all later. See y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye bye. 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 Y'all come back now. You hear? 2637.